Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be making Google. So we're going to start off by making a new travel class in our useful projects folder. Just going to call this Google. So we'll create a main method. And now we're going to create another class which is going to be called Build GUI. So if you don't know what a GUI is, it stands for Graphical User Interface, and it's just um, a user face, that, an interface that you would expect to see if you were like scrolling through Instagram or uh, searching on Google. It's graphical, unlike how the previous things we've been doing have been in the terminal, so they've all been text-based. So now we're going to create a constructor for this, so it's going to have the same name. So we're going to create some variables first of all before we start um, making the constructor. Private, static, jframe, frame, and it would have imported Charvac swing library. And we're going to finish there. And then next, private, static, jpanel, panel, private, static, J label label private static J text field search bar and private static J button search button. So now that we've done that, let's start putting some code in our constructor. So the first piece of code we're going to put is frame is equal to new jframe. And we're going to give this jframe a title of Google search. Panel, so that's our jpanel up here, is equal to new jpanel. That's so we're gonna put and panel dot set layout null. So when creating GUIs in Java, you can usually give them a certain type of layout for, for but for this we're not gonna use any layout, we're just gonna make it a free layout. So now we're gonna do frame dot set bounds, I mean set extend state, which is going to be jframe dots maximized both so what this will do is when you um, when you maximize it it will fill up the whole screen frame dot set default close operation so when you place the press the close button what does it do we're going to put jframe dot exit and close so that means it will exit the application, but you can change that if you wanted it to instead of close a window or something else. Frame dot set visible, so this means you'll actually be able to see the frame, and we'll put true. And frame dot add panel, so now it will add the panel to it. Right, let's move on to our next thing which is our label which is going to be google search so label equals new j label and we're going to put google search now that we've done that google label dot set bounds 100 so that's going to be the x value 100 that will be the y value 400 which will be the width and 25 will be the height so the way it works is that this up here is 0x and 0y and as you go further down here you add x and as you I mean if you as you go further this way you add x and you go further that way you add y. So 
and those are just the height and width values. Now we'll move on to label.set fonts. So we're going to set a font for it. New font. And now we're going to put the font properties. So first of all, we'll put the name, which is Arial. Then we'll put the font weight, which will be fonts.bold. Bold. And then we shall put the size of the font and we'll put 22. Now that we've done that, we can carry on to say label.set visible true. So now we have um, so far added a panel and our search label. So this is just some text. Now we're going to add the text field where the user can actually type in. So search bar dot, oh, search bar actually equals new search J text fields. And we're going to put some default text there, which will just be search Google. Now we're going to do search bar dot set bounds 100, so that will be the x value, and 130 for the y value, 400 for the width, and 30 for the height. Next we shall move on to setting the font, and it will be exactly the same as this but we'll change it to instead of having a bold font weight to just a plain regular font weight and the size will decrease to t 10. Now search bar dot set columns so this will set the amount of um, characters that you're allowed to type and we'll just set that to 20. Now that we've done that we can go on and type search bar dot set border so this will be setting the border for it new empty border so it will have a top value a left value a bottom value and a right value so that will be the different weights so 10 5 10 5 And then search bar dot set visible true. Now for the last thing to add, the search button. Search button equals new J button. And we're gonna give that a text of search. Search button dot set bounds. Five hundred, one thirty, eighty, and thirty. So it'll move the x value so it will be next, right next to the search bar. Search button dot set font. We can make put the exact same as we put over here then we can move on oh actually this is a handy tip instead of having to copy and paste it we can just do search bar dot get font so now that we have done that we'll be able to get the fonts from the search bar the next thing we're going to go on to do is to give it a button, a border, sorry, search button dot set border. New empty border. 10, 5, 10, 
five and that's all we will need to do so we're now going to add an action list in there and what that will do is that wherever the button's clicked it will perform a certain function so search button dot add action listener so here we're going to create a search um a search method so let's just comment that so now we will go on to creating our search method so now let's just type in void search and this will take in a parameter of string value and what we're going to do first is we're going to create another string called search query is equal to value so whatever value is passed in here that's what search query is now I'm going to copy and paste some code so here is the code I copied and pasted so what this will do is it'll ask access the desktop and it will go to the default search engine type in this URL get our search query term and replace any spaces with a plus and it will add it to the URL to be searched if there's an exception it will print the stack trace so now all that's left is to add all our different components to the panel so they can actually be seen so panel dots add label search bar search button so that will add all our different components now it's time to run we need to make sure that we have our constructor in the main method or else nothing will run and run. so there seems to be nothing but I think this is a Java bug if we close it and reopen it you'll see that everything is here and we'll be able to search on Google so if we search for example um, red you'll see here that it's come up with a um, Google search for red now if we were to search something else up like orange it comes up with orange and this will work for anything you can also change the GUI that's one thing um, if you would like to change it and yeah that's it for today thank you for watching and I'll see you around.